Victorians took brandy with a splash. <clears throat> brandy and water or soda was the invariable beverage for making a night of it. On such occasions, a tumbler was used with the inevitable one-star brandy served. But a traditional balloon wine glass, best for coaxing bouquet from good brandy, was not the preferred glass for an all-nighter on the town. Sherry was a wine popular among the Victorians. It came into fashion during the Napoleonic Wars, when the Prince Regent announced that he would drink nothing but sherry. The Prince's conversion came about after a British privateer captured a French merchantman carrying a remarkably fine brown sherry destined for the table of the Emperor Napoleon. Edward VII, while still Prince of Wales, is credited with having popularized champagne in England. Edward preferred light Chablis and extra dry champagne, and these were produced especially for the English market with spectacular results. In 1861, some three million bottles of champagne were exported from France to England. By 1890, England was importing over nine million bottles of French champagne annually, almost half of all the champagne being produced. You can learn more about Victorian drinking customs in our book, The Sherlock Holmes Book of Wines and Spirits, available in paper. Or, if you prefer, you can get the ebook version, What Sherlock Holmes Drank, Victorian Drinking Customs. Both of these fine books are recommended by Sherlock Holmes.